May the peace of the risen Christ be with you. In America alone, over 100,000 people are going to die from the COVID-19. And we know that anyone young or old can become infected by this disease. Dying ends our life on this earth, but as disciples of the risen Christ, we do not believe that death is the end of life. Rather, it is a change in life. And just as a child leaves its mother's womb, where it is nourished and safe, and is born into our world, so when we die, we leave this world and are born into God's new creation, God's new world. We believe this because we believe that Jesus Christ rose from the dead and has told us that this is the way life ends, that death is not the end of life totally. As St. Paul said, if Christ has not risen, then our faith is indeed in vain. But this is our faith and has been the faith of thousands and millions of people down through the centuries. Our life in this world is first of all a gift. It is not something that we had earned. We did not ask to be born. Rather, life is just simply a gift, a gift from God. As St. Teresa of Calcutta says, life is God's gift to us. And what we do with our life is our gift to God. And since our life is a gift and our greatest gift, we dare not squander it by careless living, nor can we end our life simply because we choose to. There is a real value that comes from thinking about our coming death, because doing so can help us understand how to live life well. As most of you know, we are in the process of building a new music room for our school. It is being funded by the estate of John Corbin, a parishioner, and it is specified, his estate is specified for this purpose. Before we could begin, we had an architect draw up the plans for the building. And his plans are, as it were, a virtual image of the new music room. We can see its height, its width. We can see how all the parts fit together. By reflecting upon how we want to die, we can see better how we want to live. Here are four statements that can help us die well and live well. Father, I am sorry for my sins. I love you with all my heart. Into your hands I entrust my life. And thank you, thank you for the many blessings you have given me. Let us pray. Risen Lord, you once walked with your disciples on the road to Emmaus. Sometimes like them, we too feel discouraged and overwhelmed. But you gave them new hope by reminding them of God's great life-giving action in the great stories of the Bible. Open our hearts now, help us to see with the eyes of faith that you are with us on our journey of life. Nourish us with your presence through the power of your Holy Spirit and in the word, the stories of the Bible. Help us to long for the Eucharist, the bread of life, so that strengthened by your presence, we might be able to bring good news to our brothers and sisters and share with them a message of peace, joy, love and life without end. Amen. Have a blessed day.